We see barcodes being used more and more in print production, not only for use in actual jobs, but also for job tracking and even in post-processing, such as bindery. Therefore, it made complete sense for us to offer the ability to generate barcodes in Pitstop Pro and Pitstop Server. Let's take a look at the functionality in the new barcode action and see how it works. There are three tabs in the action. Firstly, you select the type of barcode you require. There are over 100 types of barcodes available, including 1D, 2D, including QR and data matrix, pharmacodes, ISBN, international postal barcodes, and specific GS1 barcodes. The actual barcode value is best entered by a variable, either manually in Pitstop Pro, from an XML or JDF with Pitstop Server, or if you have in Focus Switch, the value could come from an Excel file, a database, or any of the other data sources Switch can support. Bar width reduction can be applied as a value or as a percentage. Font and font size can be set, and in addition, you can choose to group the barcode to make placement and manually moving the barcode easier once it has been placed on the PDF. If required, the barcode could also be assigned to a PDF layer or a processing step. The Color tab allows you to define the color of the barcode and its background color. You can also turn the background on and off as required. Finally, the Position tab allows you to define the position of the barcode, its size, and rotation. The Quiet Zone is normally calculated automatically based on the barcode type. However, you also have the opportunity to enter your own values if necessary. The other option here, Use Selection Bounding Box, enables you to select an object in the PDF and have the barcode generated within that shape. Barcode size, quiet zone, and other parameters are automatically taken into account depending on the requirements of the barcode type. So let's show you it in action. We are going to ship with nine predefined action lists that use the most popular barcodes and also utilize variables. You can of course adjust these to suit your own requirements and add even more variables to add even more functionality. I'm going to add an EAN13 barcode. Here you can see we have two different options based on bar width reduction. Relative values work on percentages, absolute values work on values. You see my smart preflight window pops up and asks me for the values of my barcode. I need a value of 12 digits as my control digit is set automatically. I'm not going to change the bar width, and I am going to leave my white background on. As mentioned before, I could easily add more parameters to these variables to make the action list even more dynamic. You can now see my barcode is created and logged. If I close the navigator and select the barcode, you can see it's grouped into one object so I can easily move it. Now to show you a different use case. Here I have a page with a placeholder ready for my barcode. If I run this action, it will select the placeholder object and generate a EAN13 barcode. You can see it's generated to the correct size and position. Now I'm going to do the same with a different barcode, a QR code this time. And you can see I now have my QR code. This is a special barcode. If you have a barcode application on your smartphone, you can scan this barcode and it will take you to a web page where you can view all of the new feature videos for Pitstop 2018. We hope you are as excited about Pitstop 2018 as we are and that you get a lot of benefit from all the new features.